one of the most common progressions that you can possibly play over is a 2-5-1 progression. We've talked about this a ton before, uh, but I want to actually show you guys some different lines and different variations of things that you can play uh, on top of a 2-5-1 progression in different keys and things like that. Just some lines that you can take away from uh, and try to create and stack on to what you already know or just to create your own from that. <laughs> So say if we're in the key of B major, we'll go a whole step up from that. That's our two. Right below that will be our five and then back to our root note. So we have a B here. So if we're doing a two, five, one, we have to go a whole step up from, from the B. And then we have to go right underneath that. We'll get, it was, that will give us our five. And then we back to our root note. Okay, so that's a simple, easy way to figure out two, five, ones in whatever key that you're supposed to be in. And also, the, the one of the most important things is trying to identify what's a 2-5-1 progression. But if you hear that resolve, dun, 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 you'll start to hear it the more you listen to the music. So just going back and forth between the and I have to strip everything, everything down to its raw, you know, form and, and actually listen out for these changes in these progressions. The more you play them, the more you'll be able to identify with them. Uh, also, you use the same exact concept in the key of C. So we got. Uh, D Dorian, now we're in the key of C major. by itself right there and what I'm doing is I'm going up the Dorian to the nine okay so let me let me stop this real quick so up to the nine back down to the flat seven or the minor seven of the Dorian arpeggio so so say for instance you're just staying right there inside of the Dorian key or inside of that Dorian scale because you actually can do that through this entirety of this progression because it all still works. All of these notes are still inside of the key, so it really just still works. You can stick with one um, scale and you'll be able to go and kind of maneuver around and, you know, as you wish. So after that ninth note, skip back, descend down that D minor seven arpeggio, but don't hit the D. walking it back down to the D. Now I'm hitting the G, F, E. All right, and that's our last three notes to resolve on that major third. Okay, on the E. So all together we have So that's a nice two five one progression, not a nice two five one line to actually, you know, implement or type of exercise. You can kind of loop this over and over again. You know the baseline. So now we're thinking about, okay, how can we branch out just a little bit as far as improv? You know, I know we're bass players, but at the same time, it's it's nice for us to be able to know some, you know, improvisation skills and to be able to 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 maneuver around the progression like that, just like anybody else, or just as well as anybody else can. Mm -hmm.